Good morning, my dear students. I hope you have understood the poem Nine Gold Medals. Today, what you are going to do is to learn something about the technique that is used in this particular poem. I hope you do not have any doubt related to the poem called Nine Gold Medals. I hope you have understood my explanation. So far, nobody has asked me any doubt. So I take it for granted that you have understood my explanation. So let's go to the techniques that are used in this particular poem. The first one is a known as narrative technique. So what does it mean by it? this poem, Nine Gold Medals, is more like a story that is being narrated by the poet. Though it is a poem, it is more like that it is not like this, it is more like a story that is being narrated by the poet. You must have understood when you are going through the explanation of this particular poem. It is like a story that is being narrated by the poet. So this particular, that is a narrative technique that is used in this particular poem. It looks like a story that is being narrated by the poet. So I hope you have understood the term called narrative technique. So the narrative technique that is used in the poem is that it is more like a story that is being narrated by the poet. Now come to the next one, structure. The poem consists of eight stanzas. I hope you have understood because I am explaining two stanzas daily. And seven stanzas with the four lines. It means seven stanzas will have four lines. The last stanza contains five lines. So this particular poem called Nine Gold Medals does not have any particular rhyme scheme. It means this particular poem called Nine Gold Medals has no particular rhyme scheme because the first seven stanzas we have have got four lines the last stanza contains five lines now come to the next one we have got i hope you have already known the term called alliteration what does it mean once again i'm explaining close repetition of consonant sounds usually at the beginning of the words once again repetition of consonant sounds Usually at the beginning of the words. The example from the poem is dreams and his efforts dashed in the dirt. So what is the consonant that is repeated in this particular line? That is D. His dreams. D is a consonant at the beginning of the word and his efforts dashed. The beginning of the word is D. That is a consonant. The dirt. D is another consonant so repetition of consonant sounds at the beginning of the words is dreams d is a consonant dashed d is a consonant dirt d is a consonant now come to one more example but the youngest among them stumbled yes consonant and staggered yes consonant so that's what I mean by the term called alliteration means close repetition of consonant sounds usually at the beginning of the words. If you go through the poem, you will get more examples for the topic called alliteration. Now come to the next one. So these are the things that you need to understand. So we stop or we are ending with the Illustration. So once again let's go through, there are three things that I have taught you today and it's a narrative technique which means the poem looks like a story that is being narrated, explained by the poet. Then we learned about the structure, this particular poem does not have a rhyme scheme because I have told the reason. The seven stanzas have got four lines and the last stanza contains five lines. So this it does not have a particular rhyme scheme. The next one you have learned is about alliteration, which means the close repetition of consonant sounds usually at the beginning of the words. And they are given the examples. I hope you have understood. With this, we are stopping the poem called Nine Gold Medals. From next class onwards, we will have some revision related to this particular topic, related to this particular poem. 
then we will move on to the drama i hope you are not forgotten about the merchant of venice will i will start the merchant of venice once i complete the uh, once i complete the re revision of uh, nine gold medals i hope you have understood so continue to study well my dear students thank you